You have a medical degree, you're board certified, you even have a background as a clinical nutritionist certified. Why would somebody with the caliber of background you have stake your reputation on these two little patches uh, that arguably sound too good to be true? Well, three years ago, I was actually hired by a man who wanted to invest money in this company to disprove the technology as part of his due diligence. And he got hold of you how? I was giving a lecture on bioenergetics at a medical conference, and I, was, I received a phone call, and he asked me to look into this technology. And my first impression was I thought it might be somebody taking for somebody else for a ride. That was my first impression. So initially, you're skeptical. Right. I, I, well, I think, how can something that nothing goes in the body right. have an effect? Exactly. And that's, and that's of course, my question. Uh, the company claims these are patches that are non-transdermal, which means nothing goes in the body. No chemicals enter the, the system. No chemicals, no drugs, nothing enters no. the system. Okay. So what's, what's the research that you were involved in? Well, before I got involved with this technology, I've been involved with researching, looking at electromagnetic therapy equipment on pain. Uh, I've looked at uh, phototherapy equipment. I did some research with phototherapy equipment, looking at how to use that for tissue regeneration. So this is my background, plus uh, neurology, psychiatry, nutrition, and been focused on nutritional medicine. And I recognized what it had was basically a way of wirelessly transmitting information into the human body using organic electronic components. Okay, hang on a second. Wirelessly transforming information. Okay, uh, break that down for me. A uh, cell phone uh, is a transmitter and a receiver, and you're talking back and forth. It's like a radio, you talking to another radio. Okay. And what we have with the technology that David Schmidt invented was an organic electronic appliance. So literally, it's an antenna powered by the body. Wait a minute. Organic materials are in the patches, mm -hmm. and it's the body heat or the electromagnetic current well, of the body? What, what is it that's powering? Well, basically, we're looking at body heat is a high-frequency electromagnetic field. Okay. And that's infrared radiation. And this technology will activate when placed in the body, near enough the body, near to the body to get the uh, infrared radiation coming off the body. Okay, so in other words, if the patches are on uh, that table over there, it's not going to be activated. No. It needs to be, what, within inches of the body? Uh, about six inches, we see. Uh, it starts showing an effect. Do you get better effects if it's placed right on the skin, or it doesn't matter? It works through the clothing also. Let's, let's talk about what you see as applications for these patches. Well, there's, right now, there's current applications. Are this, this set, the LifeWave Energy Enhancer, are, are energy patches. These, these little guys here. They're, they're designed to tell the body, to signal the body to burn more fat. Okay, and if we burn more fat, what happens? Well, fat gives you twice as much energy uh, than bur per gram of fuel burn than sugars or amino acids. Okay, and normally, when I'm working out, does it, it, does the body know which to burn? Well, your body is going to burn uh, the most available fuel. Okay. And when you first start working out, people will burn sugar. And right. then about 25 to 30 minutes, if they're steady and continuously working out, they switch over to burning some fat. It doesn't matter whether it's aerobic or anaerobic? Right. Well, you're going to start burning uh, anaerobic uh, exercise. You're going to burn your, your stored glycogen and your possible creatine immediately. Okay. And then over time... Glycogen being sugar? Yes. It's, it's converted into sugar. And so what happens is your body will then start mobilizing other sources of energy uh, from the cells. After 25 or 30 minutes? Yes. Okay. Well, wearing the patches, does that speed up the process of burning the fat, which we want to do? It does seem to be the case. We've, uh, we've noticed when we put patches on people that they'll burn 200 to 600 more calories a day. 200 to 600 more calories a day? Regardless, and that's based on what is that? Resting metabolic rate studies. Wow. Where we have somebody, we have them sit in a lounge chair and do a, what's called an indirect calorimetry, and it's, these are FDA, measures calories. Measure, measured calories burned by measuring oxygen consumed. Okay, where do you see the future of these patches? What sort of applications are reasonable or well, possible? What we're looking at is in, in the health and beauty industry. As far as the patches, they're, they're, at the present time, we're looking at 
using patches for energy enhancement, not only for athletes, for the average person who wants to have energy at the end of the day. Well, so that's me. Okay. I mean, that's all of us. We have a sleep patch. They assist your body getting a more restful sleep. And what does that do? That actually signals the brain to go into a deeper brain wave. And so there's four stages of sleep, and the, the, the stage four, when you go into the deepest sleep, is when you get the best body repair. It and signals the body to go into that deeper stage. And, and those are uh, theta waves, beta waves? Delta waves. Those are delta waves. So that's the lo that is the, the most profound sleep? Right. That's when you, you, you wake up, and, and you've gone into deep delta sleep long enough, you wake up, and you go through your cycle, you feel refreshed. And typically, how long does it take for, for those patches to work? Does it depend on if you're sleep deprived? Does it depend on how tough? I, I would say about 70% of people that I've seen are having a response within the first six days. Uh, we may be able to get that refined down faster or to a larger group, but I mean, seven out of 10, in my opinion, are, is pretty good for right it works. And what about the energy enhancers? Uh, you energy seven, enhancer, about seven out of ten that works on them as well. Uh, pretty much about that level. Now, there's you have to be hydrated. Well, we've, what we're, we're finding out a lot about the technology. One is the importance, or the critical importance, of having the body well, well hydrated. Okay. And why is it important for for people to be hydrated? The, the, a multitude the, the, of reasons. The, the, these work better if you are, and they won't work if you're not. Well, when you're burning fat, you need to. You need. You actually, body uses more water in the cell. And that's very important. Secondly, okay. we're actually sending signals into the body through the acupuncture meridian system, or you can call it the bioelectric meridian system. Okay. It's, it's basically a physical mechanism which includes uh, proteins that, are, that, are, that have structured water around them. And so the better the proteins are hydrated, the better the communication system the body is. Okay, so you're saying that the, the meridian system are a series of what are like little highways throughout the body and I mean acupuncture of course has been around for 5,000 years. Right, the Chinese uh, accidentally discovered this is, is basically their communication circuits. Now you can look at it from the acupuncture point of view of calling meridians or you can look at it from a physicist point of view and calling them electrical biological circuits but we're still talking about the same phenomenon energy flows in the connective tissues of the body as well as in the nervous system. And you're saying that the patches stimulate that? It increases the... It sends information into that system. Aha, uh -huh. so it's kind of like the uh, information highway, like, like the internet. These things kind of stimulate the, the internet of the body? Yes, as a matter of fact, and we can signal the body to perform certain actions that it's already doing. It's basically like a tune-up. Body's already burning fat. Mm -hmm. We're just tuning the body to make it burn more fat more efficiently. The body's already going to sleep. We're making the sleep more efficient. We're using wireless technology. What we have are, or, this is all organic electronics. People, the organic electronics. What, what am I listening to? Some like new age Twilight Zone episode here or something? What does that mean, organic electronics? Well, actually, uh, a Nobel Prize winner, Albert St. George in the 1940s, uh, came up with a theory that proteins were semiconductors. All right. And over the next 40, 50 years, uh, it's been proven that not only are the body's protein semiconductors, but so are the genetic material, the RNA and DNA, as well as liquid crystals. So what we have is the basic constituents of the body, the proteins, the genetic materials, are organic liquid crystal semiconductors. So, so what do we, so our body is, I mean, like a computer. Yes, as a matter of fact, it has many of the same facets of the computer yes. at a cellular level. So no wonder we're, we're like the, uh, the, we have the internet inside with the meridians and all that. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty interesting trying to get my arms around what that means. What, what, what well, basically it means that we can, in a sense, tune or the body or, I don't want to use the word program, it has a lot of bad connotations, but we can literally direct the body to perform an action that's already performing, but do it more efficiently. I like to call it a tune-up. Okay. So it's, it's uh, you, when you take the patches and put them on the body, the body's sending out energy in the form of infrared, they're interacting with the patches, okay. a signal is sent back into the body that tells the body to perform an action in a better way. If so if the body's already burning fat, it tunes up the fat burning. If the body's making protein for muscles, I see. we can tune muscle protein. So we can't tell the body to do something it normally wouldn't do, we can just make it more efficient. Is that That's right? That's pretty much what it is. It's an efficiency uh, patch. Well, that could explain a lot of things. You were recently interviewed on a national show and a uh, guy in, in waiting to get on camera, he had a back problem or something. Tell me about that. Well, in this particular instance, I was in the green room 
and individual had a lot of back discomfort. Okay. And I was showing him how you could move energy around in the body with the patches. And so I put the patches on his back, and within a few moments, he began to notice, experience uh, relief from the discomfort. A few, and few moments. Yes. Uh, is this normal? Well, not everybody has a very rapid response like that, but we do have many people. What we're doing is we're literally re or sending signals through the body, and I like to look at the meridian systems like rivers in a sense. So if you've got an area that's a little dry and needs some rain, and mm -hmm. you can send some energy through that system, mm -hmm. it's like putting rain into a garden that hasn't had water in a while. So you get more current, literally, in that sense, water current, or you're getting more electrical current in the body with these? Well, when you start looking at the meridian concepts or bioelectrical circuits, we literally have electrical currents running through the body. They're called biocurrents. Okay. And they have their measurable currents. And so these are involved in all the cellular processes. They're actually part of the control mechanism of the body. Okay. When you tell other physicians about this, what's typically their reaction? Well, most physicians don't have the physics background that they require in order to understand a biophysical mechanism. So a lot of them are very skeptical. But what I usually try to do is have them let them have an experience. Mm -hmm. uh, have them go out there and wear the patches mm -hmm. and exercise, wear the patches, and you know just go through their day and, and try them for a week or two. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not everybody's going to respond the first time they put on these patches. So I usually recommend people give them at least a seven-day trial. Seven days. We find out that, number one, you have to be well hydrated. So you may be hydrated on one day and not another day. Okay. So if you put them on for two days, you're not hydrated. And then the third day you are, you may say, wow, I'm finally seeing the difference. Number two, some people respond better to one position than another. Okay. And so and when we say one position, there's we talked about the uh, the chest, chest area, the, the chest points along, and there there's points. places you can. I'm wearing mine on the wrist. Okay. A white one on the right, ten on the left. Okay. There's well, other places. And, on, and, yes, and, and, I and, and, and you put on here, and I will say, I mean, it's been a long day, uh, and I still feel like I have you know some energy. So I don't know. Well, we, we have brochures explain these different points, but uh, what we have is we try to start with some simple basics, which are four basic placement points. Okay. After people get more knowledgeable about it, we, we can also give them some other information showing them additional points. Okay. But what and we find is people do better with one placement than others. And, and do you alternate uh, four, or do you do you know a few days on 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 the same, and then alternate? How, how do you how do you know where to put the patches? Well, well there's, you can actually have electronic equipment. What they do mostly is they'll try putting them on a place for one or two, put, putting on one of the placement points like the chest for one or two times. Okay. And then the wrist would be uh, might be a second. Where, where else would you put on the uh, on the knees or below the knees? It's called stomach 36 and acupuncture parlance. Okay. And then. Uh, on the inside of the ankles. Those are the four basic places. And so over a period of, say, a week, they may have rotated through all four basic placements. It seems to me if these are acupuncture points that, uh, and, and it kind of reacts kind of like acupuncture without needles, Is that would that be fair to say? In some ways, there are some analogies there, yes. And do you find that acupuncturists are perhaps more receptive uh, to this technology than your average MD? Well, I think once they get their hand, gra hand, their mind around it, they just have the same issues as everybody else. Is how can something that doesn't go in the body have an effect? Mm -hmm. So you have the, the technology has an obstacle, is that you literally have to explain that it n nothing goes in the body. Number two, how does that work? So mm -hmm. these are all obstacles that have to be overcome in each person. Mm -hmm. But mostly, what we find, if somebody is really totally skeptical, is have them wear the technology. Mm -hmm. Just have them wear the patches. Have them wear the patches. Okay, Doc, I'm going to feel more comfortable. I'd feel, you know, that there's more credibility to this if there's been some independent testing. Has there been any independent testing? Quite a bit. Uh, some's completed and much is in progress. We've done infrared studies that have already been finished and are in the process of being submitted to a medical journal for publication. Okay, infrared study. What, what are we looking Digital at? Digital infrared camera can take an image of the body in body heat distribution. Okay, and, and why, why do we care about how much body heat? Is well, that? because we, what we find is we can measure an area, say, of inflammation. It'll right. show up as a red area. Got on it. The pain. So if you've got a back pain and we see that, we can take a picture, there's a red spot okay, right so there. So if I have pain in my shoulder area. It, it will show up as a, a red area. Okay. But, but what's interesting is we can see a difference of up to four degrees change or cooling when we put the patches on the body in five minutes. 
In five minutes, four five minutes. Four, and is that significant? Very significant. People are beginning to, uh, within five minutes, we actually see people having better range of motion and decreased discomfort. Okay, how about just putting a cold compress on the shoulder? Won't, won't, won't the body temperature decrease? Uh, yes, it will. But what we're also doing is our technology is doing much more than just a cold compress because we're having biological information going into the body, and so we're having multitude of effects happening. Okay, so, I mean, I, if, I, if I have inflammation, I have, I'm going to have pain. Mm -hmm. If I have pain, I want to get rid of it. Now, are you saying that the patches will be more effective in getting rid of the pain than just a cold compress? In my opinion, yes. Okay, and is, has that been, has that yeah, been Yeah, we're actually doing study. We have a, a, a Dr. Uh, Forstrom in Colorado, uh, Denver, is doing a back pain study with computerized instruments measuring people's range of motions before and after patches within an hour. Okay. Uh, he's doing 50 people. We have Dr. Dean Clark over in Oregon who's measuring about 150 people, putting the patches on people with various conditions and looking at changes occurring within five minutes. Okay, and, and what kind of changes are we looking at? Well, we're, we're, this is the digital infrared camera. Okay. And he's looking at things such as uh, we're doing pain scales with the patients, having them give us a, a measurement or an idea of what's happening. This is subjective information. How's your pain? One to ten. Where's it at? Graphically put it on there. Put the patches on. Has it changed? Where's it at? And, but we, we compare that. We put the images right with it before and after. You can see a consistent look before and after. Okay. Placebo studies, where we put we you know, a, re a, a real patch, and then we put uh, something that's you know made of sugar, and then we give it. Uh, have you done any placebo studies? Yes, as a matter of fact, we're doing uh, almost all of our studies are double blind placebo control. We just finished 142 horses, and horses don't believe in placebos. They don't. They do not. <laughs> and so what occurs is we were able to show it a change with the horses within a few minutes of putting the patches on. Okay, and a, a double blind, uh, explain to me what, what's well, double blind? Double blind means that the, it, that the individuals having patches do not know whether they're getting active or an inactive product. Okay, we're talking about research. How many current studies are you heading for LifeWave? Currently we have uh, 25 current studies. 25 blind. studies? Yes. Okay, and, and you're looking at what? Well, we're looking at oxygen utilization, how much fat is produced from ATP uh, by looking at oxygen and carbon dioxide utilization, we're looking at pH and, and changes. That, and that has to do with what? Energy enhancement? Energy enhancement. Okay. Uh, we're looking at sleep uh, patterns. We're looking at uh, EEG changes with sleep. We're looking at EEG changes in the awake state. We're looking at uh, infrared changes with, uh, we already talked about that, infrared right. camera. We're looking at heart rate variability, which measures the autonomic nervous system response. We see the patches cause a relaxation response. There are multiple studies. So, the, that. The, so on the heart rate variability that you mentioned, there's already a study that's been published. The net result is what? If it, that the patches have what sort of effect? The, the patches cause the component of the autonomic nervous system that relaxes the body to activate. I see. So, so therefore, I can have deeper relaxation while in, in everyday activities. It's more of a calm focus while you're while you're being active. So, hmm. we have this gave us a clue on this with golfers. Uh, when we put patches on golfers. We first thought they were going to tell us they were driving the ball farther or hitting it harder. Uh, you know, but what they told us that they were concentrating better. They weren't as fatigued mentally when they were on the last uh, four or five holes of eighteen. Golf. That's after wearing patches. After wearing patches. Okay, Doc, a man with your background, it seems like you have lots of opportunities open to you. Why are you so persistent with LifeWave? You just don't get it yet. I, when I finally understood what this was about, I realized it wasn't just a new product, but it was a new industry. A new industry. What do you mean? And I, my vision is that this could be a multi-billion dollar company in the future because we can tell the body to do things it's already doing more efficiently. It's a body tune-up. Car tune-ups are a very large business. Right. Here's a body tune-up mechanism. When you say multi-billion dollar, I mean, you're talking like, you know, like, like this is the, the new era of, I don't know, the, the computer era. Look, if you look at trends, you'll find that we've been in disease care for the last 24, since World War II. It's sure. one and a half, two trillion dollar medical bills. You're right. And, and, and medical docs uh, all... Uh, with all due respect, typically you're looking for the disease and then let's see how we can treat it. What kind of drug can we throw at it? Right. Now we have the ability to take health care 
the, the, the people are getting the baby boomers. The new research is showing that's going to be a trillion dollar industry. And all you got to have is a little bitty piece of businesses where our industries worth trillions of dollars to have a multi billion dollar business. What products do you see down the road? I see, we have a technology right now. Instead of using steroids to increase muscle mass, mm -hmm. we can use our technology as a biological signaling mechanism to wirelessly transmit signals to help the cells of the muscles grow larger. Wait a minute, you're telling me that, that these patches are going are to make muscles bigger? Well, it's kind of like you can tell me you can talk into a little piece of plastic with electronics and hear somebody else's voice on it. All right. It's called a cell phone. All right. It's not really that complicated. Now, I might not be able to draw a circuit diagram, but I can push the buttons. With these patches, you can put the patches on the human body. You can see an effect. Now, everybody's going to experience it? No. But if they work with it, if they give it some time, and they learn how to use it, most people will experience an effect with the technology. We call it the, I call it the life wave effect. What's a life wave effect? Well, if you're using the energy enhancer, and you put the patches on, and you start feeling your body have more energy and stamina. You might not feel energy, mm -hmm. but what I mean is you don't get as tired. Mm -hmm. When I put those patches on, I was doing that swim that first time I wore them, and I cut off about seven minutes off the best time I'd ever swam a mile. I realized that I had my hands on something that were very powerful. I started thinking, wow, what could it do for sports performance? But not only that, what can it do for the average business person who's driving home after an eight or nine hour day through an hour's worth of traffic, gets home and all he wants to do is sit in a chair? So I said, I want to go dancing. Yeah which is what used to happen to me. <laughs> and so I began to realize that, boy, this has really got a mass market appeal. What's the number one question you get asked? How do they work? Number one. And do most people get it when you try to explain it? It takes a little while. I have to start down, I mean, I have to start explaining from the beginning that the body has organic electronic capabilities. Mm -hmm. Number two, then I have to explain how the patches are literally transmitters passive transmitters that are used the body as the power source mm -hmm. to activate a signal that can tell the body to do different things. I, mean, I suppose when, uh, you know, Gates w was talking about, hey, I've got this, this idea that, uh, you know, we're going to have a little windows and we're going to be able to make computing easy and the computers aren't going to be, the, you know, the size uh, of a small Volkswagen. I mean, uh, I, I, I can see that. Is, that. is that what you're saying, that this is that revolutionary? Yes, I, I believe so. You know, all it's a matter of is a proper marketing is getting the research completed. Now, when you do research, it takes 12 to 18 months. And then it takes to get it, to get it all to the completion stage. You still got to get it published. So you may be two years into beginning to get it published. So we're in a transition period. So this two is, years from now, we're going to have a lot of research coming out in medical literature. So this is really the beginning of, of, of the research. This is really the beginning. It's not the ground floor. It's the sub-basement. And people are going to look back at this in years later and go, you know, I remember when they were talking about this, and I thought it was crazy. And it's not only that. When I finally understood what I saw, mm -hmm. it touched me. I, I saw that there was some truth here. If I find something that's true, I've got to stick with it, and that's where this is for me. It's true. It works. That's why I use the patches. That's why I am involved with this company, because I have personally seen them work, and I know the technology is real. Thank you.